Round two, you guys. Let's go ahead and give this Bretman Rock collection a go one more time. But this time I'm gonna go ahead and use a different eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna use my Anastasia eye primer, you guys. This one right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on to the lid. Just a little bit, and we're gonna prime the eyes with that. So I really want to go ahead and just see if it's the eyeshadow primer that was not giving it to us. I use this eyeshadow base with every pretty much eye look that I do. And you guys know my eyeshadow is always on point. So it cannot be the eyeshadow primer. Someone's home. Alright guys, so I want to go in with this purple sh um actually it's going with the shades that i didn't use last time so i want to go ahead and start off with this shade which is ape shit or yeah ape shit which is this really pretty brown shade right here so i'm going to take this color hi babe what they told me that it's three times a day one tablet Every time you take it, you have to take it with food. Mm -hmm. And you can't drive. Because right. it makes you sleepy. It makes you like, mm -hmm. like drowsy. I'm just packing this eyeshadow onto the outer corner. I'm going to really smoke this shit out with this. And I'm going to just really just smoke this out. Oh, wow. And you guys... As I get more higher and higher, I actually hold the brush a little bit less and less because the the, <clears throat> the further you hold the brush out, the more airbrush you're going to get and it's not going to be so opaque. So that's why I like to do that. So I just keep the intensity right here and once I get out here, then that's when I will go ahead and switch my brush and really go in. And we're going to go ahead and put that into the inner corner. Just windshield wiper motion this back and forth, back and forth. And you know what? I will say so far, you guys, at least with this shade, um, the consistency is a little bit better. But you guys still see that I still have to really work at this shade. So this does not blend out very nice. Well, it blends out very nice when you know how to blend it out, but I can tell for beginners, this would be a mess to blend out. Like, and this is with a good eyeshadow base. So it's letting it perform a little bit better, but you guys, I'm just gonna try to use all of the shades that I did not use. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the alpha shade, which is the black right here. It has a little bit of a metallic into it. So I'm going to take a little bit of that. I really have to dig it in. You see, that is not like a very opaque black. You know what I mean? So like, I'm going to go ahead and just really dig my brush in there. I can already kind of tell that it's not going to be that pigmented. Just based off of that um, first initial, you guys see that's not even like black. You know, it looks darker in the pan, which is fine. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and set that on the outer corners. And then we'll go ahead and blend this out. So that looks very, very pretty. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just, I'm not gonna even take anything else on the brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and just, actually a little bit more. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna blend this inner corner cause we will do that cut crease thing, you know, that I always do. It just, it ties in the look so much. So why not do it, you know what I mean? So let's just go ahead and just make sure that this looks 
really snatched and really good. I will say, guys, the eyeshadows are performing a lot better. At least these matte colors are with the eyeshadow primer. So I do think it is a little bit of the primer, but I'm not gonna lie either. The formulas are still lacking, you know what I mean? Let's go ahead and cut my crease. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the same Anastasia one because this is the bomb. So let's go ahead and use this one. And for the lid, I'm really thinking I wanna go in with the gold shade. Cause this rose gold one, I haven't used it, but it's not like calling my name. It's really not. So let's go ahead and just do that. Let's cut the crease. So now that we have the lids cut, now I'm gonna just go ahead and blank the canvas out. So basically all I do is I just take um, the eyeshadow primer and just really go over everything. And just tap it out. Honestly, that's really all I do. And I fade it into the black. Now let's go in with this shade. I'm gonna take this one. This is shade King of the Jungle. And I'm gonna put that onto the outer corner. And now we're gonna go in with that brown, you guys. And we're really gonna go ahead and put that on to the outer corner just like so oh yeah just like that and this is just to really fade all of these colors together we're gonna go in with the black now on the big brush oh this is fully coated now and now we're gonna go ahead and just really just go into town and smoke it out So now we're gonna go in with some dramatic ash lashes, you guys. These are from Gordi Buena Lashes, um, and they're in the um, style posy. <laughs> and what I'm going to show you guys is I'm going to go back in to this palette, take the brown shade right here, which is a gorgeous shade, by the way, which is the shade Ape Shit. Okay, and we're going to really just go ahead and go under the lash line and tap it. I just, I love this shade. So pretty, you guys. All right, and then now we're gonna go in with the Bretman Brock Lash uh, Mascara and just coat the lashes. We're gonna go ahead and Set the face with the Breckman Rock. So, yep, that's pretty much it, you guys. I do still think that this palette could have been a lot better. Um, but I was able to go ahead and uh, try these eyeshadows eyeshadows out again and I did like them a little bit better My opinion is still the same. I don't think this palette is worth $15.99 for myself So this palette is really good for that basic boy or girl that just want Something from Bretman Rock because they love them and you know if you don't really care that you have to really work up these eyeshadows then get them you know like but I will say 
the star of this palette is the packaging. You know, it looks very gorgeous. Also, the other star of them is the shimmers in the palette, you guys. Other than that, the mattes for me, they are a little bit dry. They're hard to blend, but you will get them to work. I did try to give this palette another go. Um, I ended up making it look very beautiful, but to be honest, it is too difficult for me to have to do it every single time and make it work, you know, instead of it just being a beautiful palette and working right off the bat, you know, so that's just my opinion, you guys. But if you guys love this look, please give it a thumbs up because I do love the look. I, I ended up loving the look. It's just it took me a long time to get there, you know, and I did want to give you something very dramatic with the Bretman Rock eyeshadow palette and collection but that's pretty much it guys so thank you guys so much for tuning in don't forget to thumbs up this video please like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys